Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Thanks so much for uh, tuning in. If you're new, a big hello and a welcome. To my returning subscribers, hello. And uh, if you like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. I've just been busy around the house, just kind of uh, tidying up, cleaning, doing laundry, trying to get the house uh, somewhat ready for um, spring, have, putting my Easter stuff out, and just doing some rearranging and things like that. And as I was going about, you know, just piddling around, um, I came across a couple things and I thought, hmm, you know, I've never really shared that with um, you guys. And I thought, you know, I think I'm going to kind of gather a few of my favorite things from around the house that I feel like make um, things a little easier. Um, not anything spectacular, but just a few things, household, kitchen, and even some makeup stuff. So let's get started. Uh, first of all, I love to burn candles. I'm a candle burner and um, I do diffuse oil scents and things like that, but I love the warmth of a candle. I like seeing it lit. I like just the pretty scents that it lets out and um, how it freshens things up. I love it. So I wanted to talk about two of like my favorite candles. Okay, now this doesn't exactly make life easier, but in a way it does because if you're a candle lover and you don't want soot building up, which you know if it's on the jars, it's definitely on the walls. Um, talking about two of my favorite candles. This one is from Nest and this particular scent is pumpkin chai. I absolutely love it. I've burned two of these from fall through up to Christmas and I just have that much left which will stay perfect until next year. And that's why I always keep the lids and I keep the box because I just put it back in and then put it in my candle drawer and next year I'll start with this one. I love this candle. It's clean burning. It only has one wick in the middle, but it burns completely down evenly. And a couple of tips about your candles. Always make sure that your wick is snipped down, not too low, so that if it gets weighted down by the oils as they're burning, it won't give you the proper flame. But you want to trim your wicks. Um, I trim them especially to start, and every time they're done burning, I just take that little top area off. And also, uh, a good way to cut down on that soot is to have a candle extinguisher. Now I have this one. It's uh, this cute little black one in this dome shape. And this is probably about six inches. And I have another taller one in case you have candles that are higher. And some of them are at an angle, which makes it really easy to extinguish. But I use this all the time. And it's so nice because you just cover the lit portion of the candle and just let it smolder down and it's done. Usually if you're blowing it, that means, you know, you, you're risking the oil, the wax, the melted wax to, you know, if you blow it too hard or, you know, then you just get that sooty smoke um, scent that filters the air as soon as you're done. And this way it just extinguishes it and it's perfection. So this is something, little tool that I've had for years and years and years, and um, I use it for my candles all the time. The other candle I want to talk about quickly is Anthropology. It's a little, it's a candle that comes in a crock, and it comes in two different sizes, and my all-time favorite is the Cream Pear scent, and I will link it below. I love it. Again, it's one wick. It's in a crock. It's so cute to look at in there. You can clean them out and keep the crocks. Um, but it lasts forever. Both of these brands, these candles will burn for many, many hours. You get a lot of use out of them and they burn completely down and they're clean candles. I love them. And I'm a 
candle holic and I have tried all kinds of candles and there are some that you know I'll just think oh I'd like to try a different scent in the bathroom and I'll just kind of pick this one up and it doesn't work out because then I end up getting stuffed up and my eyes start to itch and the scent is too um, strong you know so I'm pretty particular about candles and so when they go on sale I jump on the sale and that's what I get Next, I want to talk about, as long as we're talking about scents, are these. Dryer balls, wool dryer balls. Now, these wool dryer balls, they're awesome. I use these in the laundry all the time. And um, you can see, I want to show you this. This is a wool dryer ball that I purchased four years ago um, with six came in the sack and I'm going to link it below also because I still have the um, cloth bag that they came in. I believe I purchased these either on Etsy or Amazon, one of the two, but I've used these in my dryer for every laundry. Um, I usually keep about five or six of these wool balls in the dryer. Uh, especially if I have big loads. Now, if I have a smaller load, I might may take out two or three and just place them in a jar on top of the dryer. But I have consistently used this, and there is nothing wrong with it. These do soften your clothes, and they cut the drying time way down. Because what it does is it interacts with the clothes as it's they're being tossed in your dryer, and it just you know gets them dried faster and it's a lot better than a clump of clothes hanging on to each other and twisting around each other these balls really work well now this is a little cheaper brand that I picked up somewhere because I needed a couple more I had passed on some to um, my son and you know they don't last as long and so when they start to tatter like this then I just pitch them and um, replace them but these um, also, now this is one that I bought from uh, TJ Maxx, which is through Laura Ashley. These are good. These also have some long-lasting ability. And um, the next thing I do depends on what I have going in the dryer. Today I had sheets and some of my night clothes, my pajamas and stuff. So what I do is take my essential oil, and this is um, lavender. This one's by doTERRA and I put a few drops on each of the wool balls, put them into the dryer and let that set as it heats up just permeate through the sheets of my clothes and it's awesome. Now you can use any scent you like but for night I like lavender because it's calming and soothing but you can pick these up like anywhere. Walmart, Target, TJ Maxx. Um, I see them in the grocery stores but again the quality of them and I always look and make sure that it does say a hundred percent wool on them so I love those um, next as far as household um, this is just a household spray cleaner and here you can see I have a cloth uh, with a rubber band I do this with all my spray bottles whether it's glass cleaner mirror cleaner counter cleaner floor cleaner whatever I just fold up the cloth that I use for this particular um, cleaner. Um, you know, if I need a, a cleaner for my stovetop and stainless steel, then I have a different cloth for that. And I rubber band them because that way I'm not searching and looking for cloths when I want to spray something down or intermixing the cloths. Um, because I think that's important because you're certainly not going to wash your cloth every time you just spray your counters down once. These fit so nice underneath your cabinets and I used to put them around, rubber band them with a nice thick big rubber band, but I found it was just taking up too much space and bulky. So I just fold them as small as I can and put it right over the top. If it doesn't really have a good nozzle top, but most your sprayers do, or it's constructed oddly, then I just kind of wrap it around the neck and just rubber band it on. A great tip. Love it. So next is a um, couple of household. I think I've talked about one of these in particular, but I'm going to show both of these. Graders. Okay, this is a microplaner actually, and I use this for 
my hard cheeses, Parmesan Reggiano in particular, or also um, my nutmeg, and um, grating ginger. I buy ginger and I can never use it up before it goes bad, so I keep it in the freezer. Then when I want to use it, I just cut off a sliver of it and skin and all, I just grate it and it works beautifully. Hard cheese, Parmesan Reggiano, always in my house. And this thing just grates fresh Parmesan in no time. So it's not like you're struggling to grate it. It is fabulous. And you can pick these up anywhere, including at your hardware store. And this particular one, I know it looks kind of old and gnarly. I don't know where I got it. Some grandma or something. This says three in one lightning shredder patent pending. And uh, I've had it forever and ever. It's seen better days. I use this for grating my soft cheeses. I know they have all kinds, the box graters and the ones that are attached with a bowl, but nope. I just lay this flat, take my soft cheese and do my own grating. But what this is really nifty for, and this is something I believe I saw on uh, no crumbs left either in the cookbook or in a demonstration. She takes her hard-boiled eggs when she's making egg salad or sa eggs for a salad or where she doesn't need them to be sliced. She just grates her eggs and boom, you're done in seconds. Amazing. They're all so uniform. It is great. It's just one of those things that makes life a little easier. Um, next is many years ago, about 20 years ago, we switched over from butter to, from margarine to butter, real butter, unsalted. I use it for all my baking and I use it just at home. Um, we use a lot less real butter than we do when we were using margarine. So you can see I have my butter in there. This is a butter bell and this butter bell is a crock that is porous on the bottom and you fill it up to the fill line maybe I'll turn this around so you can see it where that blue line is in there and the water absorbs through the bottom of the crock to keep it cool and I have never had butter go bad and I've lived in Illinois Tennessee um, Alabama ever have I ever had my butter go bad now these also come in the larger size um, that's pretty standard it's the larger size for a whole stick of butter these baby bells were um, offered through QVC years ago and that's when I made a purchase and I actually think two came in a set I'm gonna try to do some searching and link it and see if they still have them I can't do without it I have tried other butter bells we like soft butter. It's so nice when you're doing toast or you're having waffles or pancakes and you just need that little bit of soft butter. Keeps out on my counter all the time, all day, all night. Love it. Makes my life a little easier. Next, I want to point out the turntable. Here, here we go, right there. And this is the handiest thing I put I use it here in my makeup room. Um, I use it in the kitchen. I have it in the refrigerator. I have them in my pantry and I'll try to take some pictures and insert it. I use, I mean, I have them lined up in my pantry. It's so handy as opposed to having to move four or five things just to reach back and grab something that you need from the back of the fridge. These are great. They make them in different shapes and sizes, and they have some that have the higher uh, cuff around the whole thing, which is great for in the refrigerator. Love it, makes my life easier, and I will use those wherever I can incorporate them. Um, also, I will impose a picture here of my spice drawer. I don't have, um, I either have my spices on these particular turntables in my cabinets or what I did when I moved here is I took one of my wide drawers in the kitchen and I designated it for my spices now the spices don't stay standing up they have to be flat 
but I can see them all. They're all there. I just pull the drawer out. So, so handy. I was so frustrated because I started putting all my spices in little baskets, long, skinny, narrow baskets that fit inside the shelves, which was great. I could just pull it out. But then I'm going through those because they're behind each other and they're kind of hiding. So you're still handling so many things just to get one item. This way I put my drawer open, I'll look at everything, grab what I need makes my life easier and I think the last item I have no not the last hangers yep these hangers with felt on them oh I have them in all of our closets hallway closets bedroom closets I finally got all of the old plastic big bulky hangers out of the house I started with a purchase through QVC years ago. Um, they were super expensive and I thought, oh my gosh, I'm just gonna get one order to see if I like them. Made a huge difference in how your clothes um, can really become compact and yet stay nicely hung. They don't cause divots or points in your clothing. Now, right, if you're the kind of person that likes to grab something and just let the rest fall off well it's not going to work because these have felt them now everybody sells them walmart kmart target dollar tree um big lots you name it they have it amazon i like to get them at sam's i can buy a whole big stack of them in bulk um i just try to convince whoever i can whenever they're saying they're doing closet organizing i'm like get yourself these hangers it it's makes your life easier really does i even have them in my laundry room and so as soon as something needs to be hung from either the washer or the dryer i use these i don't get any creases in them and these are great worth the investment um, next is a um, couple of little makeup things first of all these these are little spray bottles or roller bottles and they're perfume it's so nice to buy a smaller little uh, bottle instead of a big one because usually if you get a scent and I don't know if this has happened to you but a scent in a little spray bottle it always is oh, smells wonderful and then you buy the bigger bottle and then it's like that's not the same scent that I remember so I like these because I usually use them all up they're great for travel great to stick inside your bag your purse and just to freshen up if you're working all day and you need just that little spritz of you know something that smells really good I recommend these um, next is along the lines of makeup now um, I'm going to just show share with you just a three of my very favorite brushes that I use every single day every single day even when I'm just doing a basic face now I've been home all day running around but before I did the video I decided oh I better put just a little cover up up and some powder because you know don't want to scare you away that is not the point um, so I use these brushes and what I do is this is a new brush to me since the end of last year and it's Zova. I have talked about them. This brush, I believe, was one that was recommended by Lisa Eldridge that I saw in a video back in the fall. It's number 110 face shape. This thing is awesome. It is so good. It is so, so good. And I use it for concealer. And what I do is I just dab the concealer. It picks it up these bristles are dense but soft and I just put concealer where I need it <laughs> so basically it's all through here all through here 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 and here and I just dab it all on and then when I'm done I do take um, either my sponge um, and we're going to talk about that and then just smooth it all in and then when I'm finished I have another uh, Zova brush that I received for Christmas as a gift it's bigger I'm gonna get it it's right here love this one and this one is number 102 it's a silk finisher and after I have put on my um, concealer I just rub it all in gives you a really pretty finish 
very nice very nice so I would actually have to say these are the four I use every day I use this whether it's concealer um, foundation whatever I'm using these brushes next of course is my it cosmetic powder brush I've had this forever I've talked about it a million times I use this just like I did today with a compact not just loose powder but with a compact and this is my old mac um, skin finish natural pulling out from my stash guys still going through using it and that's what i have on my face today no other foundation no primer no nothing and then this this is an ulta brush it's called tapered highlight and every day i use my chanel highlighter even just with a little bit of powder on my Lumiere de Chanel and the way I use it is I just take the brush swoop it in there and I really have to now because I'm getting a little end where it's a little hard and then just through here I highlight my cheek area a little bit at the tip of my nose up here above the brow just to give that nice little glow and down under the chin and that's it and now I've done too much because I just did this right before I came on but that's okay because then if it is too much what I'll do is I'll just take the it cosmetic brush just blend it all in yep and there you go it's just they're perfect now the next thing I want to talk about is the beauty blender I use a beauty blender sponge and I have over the course of a couple of years I really and truly have um, tried other brands um, because I think the beauty blender has a pretty high price on it and you know I find that sometimes it gets the divots and they start to shred way too soon and I'm pretty good with my makeup brushes and my makeup um, applicators I take care of them I clean them I just I can't understand it and then sometimes I can have a beauty blender that will last and last so I did make a purchase for uh, Sonia Kashuk last year and I am still using that sponge it's a good sponge it's harder and it's denser and so I find it does great to apply but I really don't get the smoothing that I want so I do like using um, beauty blenders brushes and pads so I went ahead because I needed to purchase a new beauty blender um, because especially for under the eye area over here in the creases where it's really hard that you just don't want to see that cakiness and sometimes I just can't get it right with the beauty blender and I've tried those little tiny ones that I can't hold them right but what I did I saw a lot online about these read the reviews and thought well I'm going to replace the beauty blender with about the same cost as these and these are the Tati beauty pad sponges you know they're this material uh, I don't know you know just kind of velvety soft super nice yes they're dirty because I've used them yesterday and today and so I will be cleaning them they go right in the washing machine I do them by hand with my um, hand soap uh, for my brushes and they come beautiful it this thing does what it says it does it applies and also it smooths out especially sometimes if you see you have patches this thing works super good and it's so soft you can bend it and just really you know push into your pores so you get that nice finish this is the one I use for this delicate under eye area and I don't have any undercover stuff on today but this is where I use this and especially in the crevices here oh guys it's worth it it's worth it and like I said I think the same price as to purchase the beauty blender I mean if you're just used to the sponge give these a try if you're looking for something so I use the combination of these and these 
every day. This is pretty much whether I'm doing full face or just light. Now if it's full face and I'm going to put some bronzer on and then you know my blush I do have separate brushes for that but I don't do that every day my basic every day a little bit of primer some powder you know a little bit of blush lipstick mascara my brows I'm done but today I even did less than that because I have been piddling around the house whoops a little domino effect here. Next thing I want to talk to you about that I do use all the time is um, face sprays. And I keep one in the refrigerator because in the spring and summer it's just so refreshing and cooling. And I usually like the scent of roses. And, you know, I do use sprays like setting sprays. and But for something refreshing, just to hit your face when you've got your makeup on, um, sometimes the spray ends up being tacky and it just kind of makes your skin feel mucky well i picked this up when i was at tj maxx last time um because i was just about that much left in the bottle didn't really need to get any because that much is going to last through another couple of months but this was there a good price and i thought is this any good it's facial spray okay 750 or something i'm gonna try it but guys let me tell you it feels good it has a light mist it's not heavy it's not damp within 20 seconds your face is totally dry soft refreshed and yeah, it just feels like it's been re-moisturized. Nice, nice product. I like it. I think that's it. That's all I have. Holy cow. I made it under 30 minutes, and I just want to leave you with this. One of my sweet little, you know, everyday wisdom books. This one's called Plain and Simple Wisdom. And it says, because I talked about things around the home that I think make easier for you um, and just comfortable things things that are comfy um, I just am going to leave you with our homes reflect who we are and what we value so <clears throat> not that I have great value in these products but it is who we ref who uh, you know our home reflects who we are how we take care of it how we feel about it but it's always nice to learn some new tricks and anything that can make things just a little bit easier or introducing you to a new product that you know maybe you've not considered or tried or oh my gosh butter so fattening but trust me you use so much less than you would regular margarine and something like this for the dryer it's awesome this isn't new it's been around but so many people have never heard of it so just thought I'd share all this until my next video, be kind, be humble, age gracefully. Bye.